you can install the DAP header login plugin like any other WordPress plugin, download the zip file from your members area on our Wicked Cool plugin site, and then install it using the WordPress add new feature. After you install it, activate the plugin. And after you activate it, you will notice that under settings, there is a new option for the DAP header login plugin. So when you visit your WordPress admin settings DAP header login page, it's going to bring up a page like this where you will notice there are three tabs, a header login tab, a menu login tab, and a login customizer. Now let's take a look at the various header login options. So the first option is to display your DAP login form in your website's header section. Now this is the default option and most cases on most websites, you can just use this option. This form will appear or a form that looks like this will appear in the header section of your website and you can customize the look and feel and everything in the customizer tab. And that's all you have to do. You just select this option and click on save. And when you go back to your website and visit any page, you're going to notice the header login form in the header section. No other setup is required in this case. Now let's take a look at the option two. Now you only need to use this option if you have multiple nav bars, because if you use the option one and you have multiple nav bars, like we saw earlier on the website that had multiple nav bars like this, what will end up happening is this login form will end up appearing on all of the nav bars and it won't look good. So here what we have done on this site is we have used the second option and we have configured the login link to appear or the login form to appear in the primary nav bar. So don't use option one if you have multiple nav bars because option two will give you more flexibility because you can select the nav bar where you want the login form to appear. And the instructions are right here. If you click on, click here for detailed instructions, it will tell you exactly what you need to do and how you can configure the nav bar where the login form should appear. So to summarize, if you decide to go with option number one, just select that option and click on save changes and you will notice the header login form in the header section of your website. If you decide to go with option number two, select that option and first click on save changes so that option is saved. Next, click on, click here for detailed instructions and just follow the steps there. It's pretty simple. All you have to do is first save the changes and then go to the appearance and then select menu from right there so here is the appearance menus page and you will notice the DAP header login form right here. So just click on that and you can click on add to menu and it will be added to the selected menu. Here, this is a menu that has been selected. So it will be added to that menu. Then make sure to save the menu and the DAP header login form will appear in that menu. Now let's take a look at the menu login options. So the first one that we looked at was the header login and there also we had an option to display a login form in the nav bar. However, if you don't want to display a login form, but instead you just want to display a login link that automatically changes to log out when a user is logged in, then use the menu login option. Now you can use both. That's entirely up to you. Again, on this site that we saw earlier, you notice that this is the header login form and this is the login link. So on this site, we have configured both. So you can do both. So if you want to display a login logout link in your menu, select this option. And first thing is to click on save changes. So it can be displayed there. Next, if you want to customize the names that appear in the menu, you can do that here. You can also do that in the appearance menus page, and I'll show that later, but you can configure the names right here. Also, you can configure the URL of the page to which this login link should point to. So you can point it to your actual login page where you have the DAP login form. So the login link, the way it works is when somebody clicks on that link, is just going to redirect them to your actual login page where they can log in. The other thing it does is when, it's, when somebody is logged in already, it's automatically going to show them a logout link rather than continue to show a login link. So when they click on log out, it will log them out and send them to whatever page you have configured as the page to which they should be redirected when they log out. And that's something you can configure in DAP. Now to add a login logout link to your menu, here's what you need to do. So here is the appearance menus page. You will notice a DAP header login link there. Just select the checkbox, click on add to menu. It'll be added to the selected menu. And then when it's added there, you will notice that a login link will appear in that nav bar. 
Now if you use the header login feature, make sure to enter the URL of the page to which the users should be redirected when they log in through the login form in your header section. Now if you want the users to remain on the same page when they log in, then that's fine, just leave it empty. However, if you want them to be redirected to a different page when they log in from the header section of your website, then enter the URL of the page and uh, the plugin will automatically redirect them to that page when they log in. Now in the customizer tab, you will find various options to customize the text, customize the style, customize the font, customize the button style, colors, and the error message text. So as you can see, the TAP header login plugin will allow you to impress your members and make it really easy for them to log in and log out of your website. My name is Veena Prashant. Thanks for watching.